Hey guys, it's Jessica and welcome back to the Sugar Crystal Kitchen. Today I will be showing you guys how to make taro and sweet potato tapioca balls, a popular Asian dessert that is used in a variety of ways. I'll be showing you guys how I like to eat mine as a side in the form of shaved ice at the end, so let's get right into the recipe. To begin, I have about a cup and a half each of some taro, sweet potato, and purple yam which I just peeled and cut. And then I just steamed them in a plate for about 20 minutes or until I could puncture it and it felt soft. I worked on the taro first while keeping the sweet potato and purple yam still covered in the pot just to keep them warm because they are easiest to work with while still hot. And then first things first, I mashed the taro until it became like a crumbly paste. You can use a fork here or even the end of a rolling pin to do so. Next, I just combined the taro with 3 quarters cup of tapioca starch and then I added hot water to adjust the consistency of the dough until I was able to roll it without it crumbling apart. I then divided the dough in half and then into quarters and then with each quarter piece I divided that in half again and I decided to cover the pieces I wasn't working with with plastic wrap to prevent it from drying out. After dividing the dough, I rolled each piece into a log the width of my finger and then I cut each log into half inch pieces. The revealed surface should appear smooth but otherwise, if not, add more water and it should work. Now you just want to toss the taro pieces in some extra tapioca starch just to prevent them from sticking and then we're also going to sift off the excess. Now just set them aside into a clean bowl while we work on the sweet potato and purple yam balls. Now here I'm just doing the exact same thing with my sweet potato and purple yam. Mash them and then mix in the tapioca starch and then we're just going to adjust the dough with some water and tapioca starch based on if it's too dry or too wet. Knead it and then roll it into a log and we're going to cut it into small pieces once more. Then slice them into half inch pieces, toss them in tapioca starch, sift off the excess, and then also transfer them into clean bowls. Now once you've finished making all the taro sweet potato balls, we're going to start off with the taro balls in a large pot of boiling water. And we're just going to boil the taro balls until they begin to float at the surface. At this point you can let it cook for about a minute or two longer. And then we're going to strain it and place it directly into some ice cold water. And this will help it contract and gain a chewier texture. And then we're going to go ahead and toss it in some granulated sugar to prevent it from sticking. Now we're just going to do the exact same thing with the sweet potato and purple yam balls. Make sure you do the purple yam last because of its dark color, it tends to dye the water. And that is it for how to make these delicious taro sweet potato balls. I love that they're naturally so beautiful in color. And in China and Taiwan, we typically serve them with grass jelly desserts or shaved ice. And today I decided to go with shaved ice, which was just some ice cubes blended with a little bit of milk. I used our homemade taro sweet potato balls as a topping along with grass jelly, pearls, and some homemade red bean paste, which I will show you guys in a future upload. For a little bit of extra sweetness, I also poured over a brown sugar syrup and finished it off with a drizzle of sweetened condensed milk. So this recipe makes quite a bit of taro sweet potato balls, so if you don't want to boil them all, you can actually freeze them up for up to a month, and whenever you want to eat them, you can simply boil them. And well, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. Don't forget to leave me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you all next time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye everyone!